frequency modulation, or fat foreboding friends of the French Foreign Legion, FM, always agitating to the new frontier, hiding within the tomb, waiting for the moment. Then the word comes, shooting with signs, squares, and sawtooths. The waves will wallow with the wicked, screaming at the wondered to grab hold of this vermilion wunderbar, this new world of sonic landscape, this new world of wonder. I see tingles of enlightenment as Madame Benoit and her Frigo seals bark blindly in the blizzard of an Antarctic night. F M. F M. Let's F F M. Let's F F M. Nash the Slash existed extraneously for many years before he contacted Bongo Rock Disease. His convalescence coincided with his discovery of fiddlehead biomania clean sheets and the heartbreak of Kitty Litter Linger. While reading 50 Things to Do with String, this hard-nosed Boeing constrictor stumbled upon his next frugal campaign, Dark Clothes for Old People. Six horrendous months of hiding in the shadows with Attila the bottomless goldenrod followed, but nothing had the impact on him as the riceroni rise and shine belligerent breakfast bash in July of last year. Sixty throwaway bags of Lithuanian beef hearts bubbling on a fierce fire of British Columbian carbon copy. A hundred and thirty-two feathered friends of Fidel Moon. A bunch of natty dreads playing house. And a wayward Navajo Indian yelling, bad breath. What a night and what a breakfast. Will there be more in store for this man galore better known as Nash, who came to Earth with strange powers, able to tell the difference between the gander and the B.W. goose, the creamed codcakes and caboose. Here is a man not quite ready for the next subway stop, a man known only as the next best thing, cosmopolitan, metropolitan, Nash the Slash. Nash the Slash. Every time Cameron Hawkins ventures alone from his chicken wire compound, the air is filled with combustible cupid dolls, kamikaze queens, iced snow cones, and sludge. His presence alleviates the anxiety of corns, calluses, conformity, and Annette Unicello. Cameron's heart pumps pure puma plasma, cracking mirrors when in contact with his countenance and his counterpoint squeezing the pewter pyrrhic from the insides of orthopedic shoes. This crazed keyboard crier diminishes the demonic to a helpless hell's handbill. Dialing his dharma, the new recruits beckon the only butcher blocks they know who will take up the cause to obliterate the blah and banish the bland. In slow counts of five and knuckling under to the new land of ooze, these people were popular with the programmed masses, pumping out to the proletariat the things that they wanted. But then, the marzipan marquee and the musical men of the free finally cracked the shell with sincere, inspired direction. The spontaneous effervescence could not be controlled. The feeling was there, and so Dharma was right. The superficial were supplicated and Cameron came to be.
Thank you.